Jesus raised his eyes to his disciples and said, Happy are you who are poor, because God's kingdom is yours. Happy are you who hunger now, because you'll be satisfied. Happy are you when you weep now, because you will laugh. Happy are you when people hate you, when they reject you, when they insult you and condemn your name because of me. Rejoice when that happens. Leap for joy because you have a great reward in heaven. Their ancestors did the same thing to God's prophets. But how terrible for you when you're rich because you've already received your comfort. How terrible for you when you have plenty now because you will be hungry. How terrible for you who laugh now because you will mourn and weep. How terrible for you when all speak well of you. <laughs> because remember, their ancestors spoke well of the false prophets. And then he tells his disciples, But I say to you, all of you who are willing to hear, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. If someone slaps you on the cheek, offer the other one as well. If someone takes your coat, don't withhold your shirt either. Give to everyone who asks, and don't demand your things back from those who take them. Treat people in the same way that you want them to treat you. This is the word of the Lord. Please bow with me. Father, we give you thanks for this, your holy word. Lord, this day we give you thanks for the way that you use your word to encourage us and teach us and convict us and guide us. Lord, as I come this day before you, I ask that the words that I speak and the message I give would be yours. And we, O oh Lord, your people, we ask that the way that you use this message to change our lives would be according to your will. We will give you all the praise and honor and glory for the wonderful and amazing things that you will do. In Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. Uh, all Saints Day. All Saints Sunday, actually. All Saints Day was a couple of days ago. It was the day after, I don't know, y'all seen something going on. People running around wearing costumes and stuff. What was that? Halloween? All Hallows Eve, to be correct. All Saints Day is the next day, so I guess that would have made it Friday, right? But this is the Sunday when we when we celebrate the saints. When we celebrate, like like Paula said, the people who did the things that make a difference in the world. You know, the Word of God does not come out and and then and then return without having made a difference. When we do as we're called to do, when we follow Christ, when we when we love those who are unlovable and forgive those who have wronged us and extend the same mercy to others that we've been extended by our Father in heaven. We too can be saints. Jesus has just come down uh, from prayer and he selected his disciples. Have any of y'all ever played uh, uh, something on the, on the playground where you pick a team? You know, Red Rover or kickball or basketball or football. Did you ever choose a team? Huh? Yeah, I mean, we, we've all done that, right? Or, or we've wanted to be chosen by a team. You know, we, we've been on the playground. Well, basically, what you, what you have here in the preceding scripture is Jesus is choosing his team. He's calling his disciples. And he's putting together a team to accomplish what he's trying to accomplish, which is to bring about God's kingdom on earth. And that's not a one-time deal that just happened a couple of thousand years ago, right? Today, he's still choosing his team. He's still choosing his team. And he's calling out to us and he's saying, come on, I want you on my team. Can you imagine that? Standing on the playground and Jesus walks out there and you're in the far corners over there because nobody wanted to pick you. And Jesus says, you, I want you on my team. Come on. Come on. 
And you rise and you go to him and you think, wow, I've heard about this guy. He always wins. I want to be part of that team. Today, he's still calling people to be part of his team. And then he goes on and he gives them kind of a, a, a list that really is a rehash of the same things that you find if you go back into the Old Testament law of the Torah. Only he's presenting it afresh. He's presenting it anew in a different context and in a different way. Not a list of do's and don'ts from a God who's sitting on his throne waiting to zap you if you get out of line. But rather, he's trying to teach them a new way of life. For too long, they've heard how this God is. And that this God is more concerned about the things that you messed up than the things you got right. For too long, the people have, have had this misunderstanding, not quite getting the whole picture. And Jesus wants them to understand who God really is. And so he comes and he chooses his team and he says, here's the thing. If you think it's good now, you're probably missing the boat. But at the same time, if you think it's tough now, you're probably in the right spot. And he says, there's going to be times when you're on my team and people aren't going to like you. But I want you to rejoice because that's just a short time. The true rewards come later and they last for eternity. So be part of my team. Here's not a list of do's and don'ts that that you have to worry about if you step outside the line, you get punished. But rather, here's a new way of looking at life. Here's a new way of thinking of God as extending mercy and grace to you so that you can extend it to others. Is it possible for us to give away something we don't have? No. You can't give what you don't have. If this is mine, I can give it. But if it's not mine, I can't. But what we've received from him, we can extend to others. Mercy, grace, forgiveness. I don't know about y'all, but I'm glad that's extended to me. Are you? Yeah. And so Jesus is telling his team then, and he's still telling them now, guys, there's a message here, really good news. And the world needs to hear it because without it, there's no hope. But Jesus says, I'm picking my team so they can go out in the world and they can share hope with others. Because it's really tough out there for folks, especially if they don't know me. And it's up to you, my team, to make sure they know. And that's what he's trying to get them to see. He's trying to get them to choose between the God that they've heard about and the God that he's showing them right then and there. And the, the way that you'll know how you choose is by the way you live your life. If you really accept what he's teaching, if it really makes sense, if it really changes how you live your life, then you'll be able to forgive those who are unforgivable. You'll be able to give those who took your coat, your shirt too, and not worry about whether or not they bring it back. You'll be able to extend mercy, and you'll be able to extend grace to those that other people don't want anything to do with. You'll be on a team that is inclusive, not exclusive. You'll be on a team that's founded not on judgment, but on grace. You'll be on a team that doesn't Look over their shoulder wondering if God's keeping score and, and how far in the hole you are on the ledger. Not that team. But in a team who's free to walk about knowing that the love of God covers over everything you do. And you can share that with others. Still to this day, that's the team he's putting together. Every one of us has been affected by somebody in our life. Or we wouldn't be sitting here today. Someone who has shown Jesus to us in some way or another. Maybe it was our parents. Maybe it was a friend from school. Maybe it was a friend at work. But somebody showed us something about Jesus and we thought, wow, I don't understand. 
I've never thought of it like that. I don't, I don't see how it can work like that. That's beautiful. I want part of that. And we responded and we came. And that's when we answered the call. When he said, be on my team. All throughout our lives, there have been those who have had that kind of an impact on us. We call them saints. We're not perfect. We're not perfect. But when we're doing what God has called us to do, we're saints. Can you believe that? Can you hold up what, you know, an imaginary mirror and look in the mirror and can you see a saint there? I mean, sometimes it's hard to do, isn't it? Glenda's thinking, your mirror's broke, Gary. <laughs> But really, can you imagine that? You are. You are. Because of God's great love. You're a saint when you're doing what God has empowered you and equipped you and called you to be. When you live as Jesus taught, when you're on, when you're on the team, you're part of the team. You're running the plays. You're doing what the coach is calling you to do. And you're going where he sends you. And that's who we're supposed to be. And when that happens, we are saints too. Today is All Saints Day. And as you remember the people who made a difference in your life, I want you to be encouraged to know that you too can make the same difference or even more in the life of someone else. And you can do it no matter where you are and no matter when it is. Whether you're in line at Walmart, you know, every now and then, hey, the person behind you, Tell them, you know what? Maybe you're in a hurry today. Go ahead. Come on up here. Go ahead. I saw a news, uh, a news report last week uh, uh, where paying it forward. You see all these people? Uh, they, they were talking to uh, folks in line, and they drive up, and somebody had bought their lunch in front of them, and so they bought the lunch in, in the, in the, for the people behind them in the drive through They talked to a guy at a Chick-fil-A. Not surprising it happened at a Chick-fil-A, huh? And so they talked to a guy who was working at Chick-fil-A at the window, and he told them, he said, this has been going on now for over two hours. Yeah, 80-some-odd people in a row had been paying it for to the people in line behind them. Had no idea who was in front of them. They just bought their lunch. Had no idea. And you said, you don't know the people on the freeway. Had no idea who was in the car behind them. When you show love, it inspires others to show love. When you show mercy, they show mercy. When you show grace, it starts a chain reaction that can't be stopped. And that's what the saints do. That's what the saints do. And when we're doing those things that God taught us through Christ to do, we're saints also. So today, as we celebrate this special day, this special occasion, I want you to remember the people in your life that made a difference to you in your walk of faith. <laughs> and ask yourself, how can I pay that forward to somebody else? How can I make just as big a difference to somebody else or bigger than these folks made to me? Because that's really how we show appreciation. That's really how we show gratitude for all that they've done. Because some of them aren't here anymore. You can't thank them. And I can promise you where they're at, they can see when you're doing something great, you can thank them like that. All saints that includes us. Does it not? Will you be part of the team? <laughs> yeah. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.